Let's share the experience and welcome to Edenized. Uh, this is how we are going to film or record our experiences from now on, uh, showing myself as well as showing what we're going to open and uh, what we are experiencing at the same time. So it's going to be a fun new way of uh, opening packs and we're going to celebrate that by opening up a Galarian Rapidash V box which contains this huge uh, or jumbo card with Galarian Rapidash and also the promo card of Galarian Rapidash V and also it contains four booster packs so we're going to open up that to celebrate that and to let's get started with this opening so just this Friday you saw uh, my camping opening i hope you liked it a lot it was fun to record it and share the experiences as well with you guys but now we are doing a new thing opening up packs in this way so without further ado let's get right to it but I almost forgot something. Just hang on a minute. I also have a new prop. When we catch something good, we are going to use this little cap. Because a master catcher needs to have a master collector cap, you know? Alright. If you don't mind, little boxy. Let me get you open. Here is the promo card that we're going to take up at first. Just like that. It did not contain a box promo card or TCG online card. But here is the Galarian Rapidash V card that is guaranteed in the uh, box, which is named after the promo card. A cool one, rainbowy one. Uh, reminds me a lot of My Little Pony. I have never been a, a fan, but in, I know it's a huge franchise out there and there are lots of huge collectors out there as well. So, And some do like Pokemon as well as the My Little Pony franchise. So this, for all, far as I know, has been a huge collection for them as well. Inside this box as well, let's go to put you right back there. There's also a Jumbo card. Look at that. So it's just like a bigger version of the promo card, which we just leave. A really big, I mean, look at the size of the size comparison. It's almost as, bu as big as my head. A very cool piece of collection. Let's put you right at the back of this Galarian Rapidash. But before we do that, uh, this Friday we're going to open up the Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. I have already recorded that video. So for you guys uh, who love Shining Fates, get ready to have a new chapter of uh, well, opening with us here on the channel on 80 Nights. So that will be really cool to see. Let's put you right there instead. So, this box contains two Battle Styles boosters, one Darkness of Blaze, which we've already gotten the Charizard, and also one, I know some of you doesn't like this set, but this is in my heart actually. This is the first uh, set that I have started to collect when I found my love back for the hobby again. The Crimson Invasion. I know people don't like it with its pull rate and stuff like that, but I'm just in love with it. I can it's like a first love, you know? Oh, here's the code card for you guys who, want, who likes to collect it. Didn't see it before. There we go. Just going to put it right back there. Toss this away. So, four packs. Battle Styles, Darkness Blaze, and Crimson Innovation. Let's put them right there. Start with the Battle Styles cards. All right, let's see if the pull rates of this box is something to celebrate. All 
right here we go the bell sprout contains this online code card all right let's go for a fighting energy what you say psychic pig knight fan of waves dotler bell sprout on the front onyx sparrow sislipede shinx it's been a long time since i know since i've opened this it, it feels like you know but this is a Kimiko reverse and then a, a Victini V Max first pack magic. How about that? We have already pulled this card, but we have pulled a lot of cards from the battle style set, so we're off with the bang from this box. Victini V Max in a great condition, if you ask me. Let's have a little. It got some whitening there on the edge. No, it was just dust. Thank goodness for that. So it's a good condition, actually, this card. Let's put you in the sleeve right away. How about that? Cute Pokemon with a cute artwork in absolutely fabulous VMAX card. Look at that. First pull of the day. So, this will be like an... A little bit like an extra video I'm going to release this in the middle of the week uh, uh, but I will still continue with my every week Friday 17 p.m. pack openings so this is just a little bonus because I know you guys deserve it and this little kind of new way of opening up packs deserves it too all right, let's move on with the Hound Door. I'm going to guess for a Darkness this time, just because of the Hound Door on the front, you know? So let's see, Darkness, Leaf. All right, move on, Luxio, Spupa, Single Strike Style Mustard, Hound Door, Horsey. Let's see, some notifications just came up here. Going to turn them off. There we go. All right, Horsey, Mankey, Mobile, Fomantis, an Aegis slash Reverse Rare, look at that, cool, cool one, we have pulled it before, and then a Mian Xiao non-holographic. Alright, let's see, moving on for the Crimson Invasion. Sometime I'm going to uh, bring a complete booster box opening from Crimson, Crimson Invasion. I don't care if you like it or not, it's because I need to do it one time here on the channel as well. I know that that was a green card, so we won't pull anything cool from this set, but I am going to open it up because, you know, it's my first set coming back to the hobby. Going for a fairy fighting, all right, Hunter. So Crimson Invasion isn't from the Sword and Shield uh, generation it's actually from the sun and moon for you guys who didn't know or who are new to the hobby oh look an Aaron I like the Aaron it's a cool Pokemon or a cute Pokemon at first and evolves into Agron at its last evolution I like it uh, Corfish so a Shelmet reverse and then a Octillery non holographic but thank you for that Galarian Rapidash V box I'm going to bring a Crimson Invasion booster box someday for this channel just to share and enjoy it one more time. Hopefully not last, but just one more time. Here we go with the code card for Darkness Ablaze. What do you guys think? Is it going to be something good? I don't think so. But I'm going to guess for Fire, Darkness, Ablaze, Lunatone. Staravia, Puppetar, Mareep. This is actually a cool set as well. I don't think I've gotten Snowball. Yes, I've gotten Snowball before. Taurus, it's a cool set, the Darkness Blaze. We have opened it a bit on this channel and we have pulled the Shadowstar B Max, which was very cool. Galarian Mr. Mime, a Simisir Reverse, and a Axelgor non holographic. All right, so one in four from this Rapidash V box. So nothing like to share or call out something extraordinary, you know. But other than that, 
this is not just only the packs we're going to open because I have prepared 10 single blister battle styles packs that we are going to open. So this will be fun. All right, let's see what we got in store because we need something more than just Galarian Rapidash and the Victini V Max. You know, we have a hunger for pools and to complete our master set of the battle styles era, era or something like that. All right, fighting again, water, Paragli, Tower of Darkness, Girder, Leaky Tongue, Electabuzz, Esper, Timber, Slowpoke, a Carcoal Reverse and a Aegislash Non-Holographic. All right, still got some packs left to go. And one of them must contain something delicious. Otherwise, I'm going to be very sad this night. I'm recording this at like 11, 10 p.m. I don't remember the time. Yeah, 11 o'clock during the night. So let's speed it up so I can get to bed. I'm going for electric fire this time. All right, this must be something good. Let's hope for that. All right, escape rope, Lucho. If you want me to go somewhere else to open up packs, uh, I would really like to know, like I did in order. Just uh, comment, uh, leave a comment on where would you like me to see me open packs, and I'll try to make my best that way up for it. Going for the next, which is an Aegis slash holographic. Look at that! Very cool one. That's another pull for today. Let's go to put you in a sleeve and leave you just beside Victini V Max, right there. But yeah, so I can continue doing those kinds of different experience experiences open up packs. Because it's what's special. A bit tricky sometimes to film at such on remote places, you know, with environments, uh, water all over the place, insects, don't <laughs> start with me with insects or the mosquitoes, they do love me actually. I can't say the same for them. Uh, going for a psychic, darkness, crawdons, and if you do like this way of filming, let me know in the comments, leave a like, and I will continue doing this. I think you guys will love this more because we can have a better connection right, uh, like this. And uh, also have a good view over how the pack openings are going. Without me like shaking all over the place trying to pull the good cards like this and stuff like that. You know? Alright, scatter bug, reverse. Alright, just made a mess with my pile, toss pile. There we go. Then it is a Vivillion non-holographic. All right, still got some left to go. What you contain for me? Empoleon. And another alternate, a alternate full art wouldn't be so bad. We have tried a lot chasing after them. There's only two, so the pull rates for one isn't that good, but hopefully we'll get our hands on one. Let's see, go for a leaf, which it is. Let's celebrate that. Now it must be a good pull. Seedra, come on. Weeping Bell, Experience Share, Bell Sprout, Bronzor, Murkrow, Murkrow, <laughs> Horsey, Cherubi, Bell Sprout, and then a Luxray Holographic. Look at that. We have gotten two holos. But it would be nice to get a V card or especially V Max or full art or something above that would be very, very nice. All right, let's see what this Gigantamax or Shifu has gotten in store for us. Silicobra first. Alright, let's guess for something else. Uh, probably electric? Alright, look at that! I am 
hitting it on the spot right now. Silly Cobra, Frillish. Now it must be something good. Two right guesses in or correct guesses in a row. Scatterbug, Honage, Kingdra, Reverse, Rare, and then a Center Scorch non holographic. Well, we still after this one has have four packs left after this Gigantamax Urshifu single strike Urshifu. Come on, battle style, show me what you got. This must be something good. Or the reason to leave it alone. Maybe. Guessing for the water this time. Fighting, alright. End of the guest streak. Tower of Waters. Luxio. Hunchcrow. Houndor. Scatterbug. Honage. Gligar. Electabuzz. Experience Share and a Galarian Slowbro non-holographic. Alright, so we've opened up a lot of sets on this channel. Battle Styles, Shilling Rain and uh, Darkness of Blaze. And some... Uh, what's it called again? Oh my god, a Crimson Invasion packs. Which have you liked the most to see me open? Or is it uh, another set that you would like to see? Oh, and Vivid Voltage. If there's another set that would you, you like to see me open, let me know. Uh, type in a comment and uh, I'll see what I can do to fulfill your wishes. Fire. Psychic. Pharaoh. Carnivine. Escape Rope. Timber. Tepig. Glameow. Silly Cobra. Frillish. A Galarian Mr. Mime, and then we are getting a Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. So we got another pull. Look at that. This card is absolutely beautiful. At its shiny form, it looks pretty good on the front. A little bit heavy on the right side. On the back, we got a little bit of whitening on the edge right there. Otherwise, it's a pretty good condition. Wow, it feels so special to have these cards in your hand. I know that the battle styles have felt like a little bit of uh, uh, value drop to them in the recent weeks. Uh, so they aren't as valuable, uh, valuable at the moment as they've been before. But all the sets always like rises in value at some point. Because there will be like an antique, or someday it will be a vintage uh, set, you know? So I don't care if it's lost its value at the moment, but I still appreciate it. This was the set that we kicked it off with here on Eddie Nice channel. Alright, let's go in for a psychic. Metal this time. I for always forget about the metal e energy. Pharaoh, Carnivine. Oh, and I've almost, I forgot as well. We need to put this on because we've gotten two. One Victini VMAX and one Rapid Strike or Shifu VMAX as well. And two Hollows as well. So, let's go for Onyx, Sparrow, Sislipede, Shinx, Bruno. And for the last card of this pack, it's a Phalanx non-holographic. I'm getting notifications just at this moment uh, that a auction for a hidden Fates Elite Trainer box is about to end in three minutes and I'm actually leading that uh, bet, you know. So, I probably made a mess right there so let's see there we go I made a mess just like that shouldn't have gone out from the video like that all right here we go going for water which it is 
Good Guess, Good Guess, Spilpa, Gliscor, Swordward, Shieldbert, Sparrow, Sislipede, Shinx, Cacnea, Ponyard, Karina's Focus, and then a Kingdra Holo card. This one is pretty regular actually, so I'm not that thrilled over that one. Alright, last card for this, or pack for this video is a Tyranitar. Will we get something good? Hopefully, but I don't think so. The pull rates for Battle Styles hasn't just been that kind, you know? I'm going to guess for fire this time. Which it is, I'm getting it. I know how to guess at the moment. Shieldbert, Bisharp, Lickitung, Zubat, Remoraid, Onyx, Mobile, Shinx, and then for the last card of this video, we do get a Salazzle non-holographic. Alright, so that's it for this time guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, uh, leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and click the uh, notification bell. It was fun to open up the Galarian Rapidash V box, receiving the Victini V, which we got right there, and then we also got the Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max from the Battle Style set. So, very fun with this opening. I hope we will share more experiences in the future. Uh, with all that said, don't forget to click the videos around me to see more of what I got uh, on my channel, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!